Raymond's hooking us up with his uh, portable music player, which is a really big help because we've been using our iPhones just to kind of like carrying it around. But uh, power should be on by the end of this week. By the time I'm back from the LA Fit Expo, it'll be back or on. So I'm excited for that. We're gonna divide it two people on each flat bench over there. Raymond and Carlos working over there. We're gonna work over here. Let's get it done. Going for three sets of five today. 275. See if we can do it. About to chug our pre-workout because if we don't, then I don't drink it. So, where'd mine go? Here we go. Is that you, Moro Shaker? POV. POV. <laughs> hey, we got you. You got it. Oh, I got it. All right. This is good. Good workout. Cheers. Boom. Oh. Oh. Ah. God. <laughs> When you don't put a lot of water, it's hard to do that. It's real strong. Oh, it feels good though. The Power Ranger team, Indigo. Got the red, got the blue, got the black. We're all about to kill it. I'm gonna like, take you through the workout, but I'm gonna like, talk in between clips so you guys can like, I don't know, pick up tips. It's more raw feeling instead of just doing like a commentary. So that's what I wanna do. So here we go, we're still warming up. Working that way up to 275, nice and gradually. First set, 275, going for five reps. Up, 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 up. Okay, I <laughs> Oh, I failed on that second set. I didn't fail, but I racked it after four reps. I didn't want to take it to failure that set. Uh, I didn't feel like it was necessary, so I'm gonna drop the weight down. And you know, being 100% real with you all, I straight didn't have it in me today. So I'm gonna back off my weight next time I try a three by five. Be sure I can hit those three sets of five with the same weight and uh, go from there, guys. So you know, you can make excuses. Oh, it's 45 degrees in here. It's cold. My body didn't feel warm, but I didn't have it in me. So finishing this third set, gonna drop the weight down and hit five reps and then move on. Going incline dumbbell, very slight incline here. Making sure we're engaging the upper chest as opposed to the front delts. And uh, going for about 10 to 12 here. We went lower reps, team on the bench, increasing reps, getting in that. So set number four here, we're gonna be doing five total sets, still using the 65s, taking a little bit shorter of a rest time. I'd say about a minute to a minute and a half rest time. And uh, you know, I don't have like I don't have a stopwatch, I'm not timing my rest and all right, you know, three, two, one, go. It's not like that, guys. Whenever you're doing your exercises, take as much rest as you need, you know, on your compounds, on your uh, bench, your squat, your deads, overhead pressing, take as much time as you need so you're hitting your PRs, focusing on the strength. But whenever I move on my accessory movements, I don't mind cutting that rest time down a little bit and just Getting my heart rate up a little bit and feeling really good during the workout. So that's what I do personally. Not saying you have to. But that's what I enjoy. Set number four here. Here we go. And the reason I do that is because when I take long rests, you know, three, five minutes, I get distracted. I get on my phone. Check the emails, check the text messages, mess with my head, distracts me, and I lose the focus. I lose it. So do what works for you. It's different for everybody. Moving on to some flies here. Peck deck. Gotta try to hold it for a second. Oh, Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi. Uh, 
Nice of push downs here. Use a little rope, grabbing, not at the very bottom, but a little bit higher. I'd say about two inches higher. Coming down, locking in, twisting at the bottom, and squeezing the tricep. That's what tricep is so important to actually squeeze at the bottom. You're getting that, that's, that's where you're actually engaged. You're flexing. You flex at the bottom and then come up and you flex. So here we go. Now can you also notice that I'm starting very strict. As it gets tougher and tougher, I'm gonna use a little bit of momentum to knock out a few more reps. Strict, 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 squeeze. Ugh. All right, now we're gonna get four more. Uh, 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 two more. Uh, 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 uh. Don't stop at the end of the set just so you can't get the perfect blocking, guys. Push down, control that negative, get some four reps in there. Feeling kind of heated right now, guys, just talking about, you know, you always, always see these people on the internet. Oh my God, this form of this, 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 he's losing his, his butt came off the bench an inch. These little small things that, in the grand scheme of things, like if you're training, yes, you need per, you know, you want to have as good a form as possible. It's sometimes, uh, you know, those last few reps, the grinders, it's like, and accessory movements, it's okay to push yourself and, you know, go a little bit past that comfort zone. And uh, sometimes I feel like that's necessary to put yourself in a position for growth. Go until you feel your muscles working and until you feel like you physically can't do anymore. Now, I'm not saying you need to go to failure on everything, especially under compounds. You want to, you know, stay, you know, follow the RP scale, whatever you want to do. Stay away from failure so you can be sure you're progressing. But there's, you know, a time and place for everything. And it's so tired just seeing these people that are so scared to push themselves. Oh, pisses me off. But know when to kick it in gear. And uh, that's all I can say. Decline skull crushers is the next movement. Again here, right on this decline. If your gym doesn't have one of these, you could pro probably use a decline uh, bench and just like adjust, you know, around those bars. Some people have also asked like, why is the floor so dirty and you know, why is it all messy back there? And the building's not done yet guys. They're still finishing the offices and they have to paint this white thing right here. And so after they're done building and putting the, the tile in the front and painting, then we're gonna come in and get all this clean. And uh, that whole section, it's not gonna be used for gym equipment. It'll be used for something else, which I'll show y'all once that happens. It's coming in right now. But uh, yeah, that's why the floors are dirty. All right, very last exercise of the workout, finishing up on a second incline movement here. Going incline hammer strength. As you can see, it's not a ton of weight. We're going about 12 to 15 reps here and literally just getting that last, last, giving it everything we have to finish off. So here we go. Four sets. Uh, Still keep that form locked in. Uh, I control it. Well, it's funny that at the beginning of your, of your workout, you use like warm up weight. At the end of your workout, it's your working weight. Just finish up that workout. It was an amazing one, chest and triceps. Hopefully you guys picked up on something or just enjoyed the video. But I just wanna to say, tomorrow, if you're watching this video, tomorrow, Friday, February 6th, Alphalete's going live. And it's been a long, long time in the making, guys. I mean, there's been months and months and months of work. And then, you know, I thought I was planning on releasing January 3rd. Decided to push it back because I wasn't 100% happy with the product. I'm happy with the product now. So, that's something I'm proud to stand behind. We've got nine shirts going live tomorrow, wristbands. I'm throwing in a decal with every single order that's placed on Friday. And um, I'm so excited, guys. So I saw I would go oversizing. These shirts fit very true to size. 
again, very, very true to size. Whatever size you normally wear is a shirt or the size I would recommend. I'm between a medium and a large. I can wear a medium, it's a little bit tight. I can also wear a large to get a little bit more uh, loose, you know, more comfortable fit. Right now, this indigo one, indigo t-shirt, this is a medium. So I purposely lengthened the shirts a little bit. So the reason I did that, you put it, obviously no one wears their shirts like this, guys. You wear them, you know, normal. But because they're longer, whenever you raise up your arms, you don't see your stomach show. You know, I hate when shirts ride up like that. So everything's lengthened. This is a medium on me. You can see, you know, pretty tight on the arms. The sleeves are a good length, especially for a medium. Nice and tapered. Tapered right here. They come out at the bottom. Fit real tight. I even have a little bit of space on this medium. Come back here. Shoulders fit perfectly. Now I'm gonna try on a large for y'all just so you can get a general, you know, I guess visual on me. Uh, so here's a large. Earlier, so it's a little bit, you know, it's not like fresh out the package. I know a lot of you are gonna ask, these shirts are, it's a blend. These shirts are a blend of fabric, guys. So the foundation of the shirt is cotton. After you wash the shirt, cotton shrinks. No matter what people tell you, oh, this doesn't shrink, it doesn't shrink. Cotton, the material alone, does shrink, and that's the majority of the shirt. So they are gonna shrink a little bit. These two shirts I'm trying on are already washed. So this is how they're gonna fit after wash. So still tight on the sleeves, large as you can see. Nice and tight on the back, tapered. The length is solid, so when you pull it down, raise your arms up, you don't see the stomach showing. And I'm extremely happy with these guys, like seriously. Um, I'm just proud to bring this product to you all. Proud to bring this company to you guys. And tomorrow, 12 p.m., Texas Central Time, we go live.